I mean, like, you know, conservatives and Christians, like, you know, people, they, they accept that, you know, people can be gay. They can have a uh, gay lifestyle. They can have gay partners, you know. But, but, you know, when you start, like, you know, kind of encroaching into things where you're starting to dictate and saying, like, you know, we're going to change the legal definitions of marriage. We're going to, and people who are religious are very concerned about this. We're not changing marriage. Uh, we're, we want a piece of the pie. We're trying. We're trying. It's, we yeah, want a piece of the pie. Proposition 8. You know, I mean, Proposition 8, you know, it's, you know, there's the, it's, I think it's going to pass. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know what else you can do about it. But, yeah. I mean, I know you're working against it, but I'm going to vote for it. Well, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that you don't, you don't see civil rights as being, you know, a, a, something that everyone should enjoy. No, I disagree. You say it's a civil right, but like I said, there's many people who are not allowed to marry. Guy's not allowed to marry his mother. Fa you know, father's not allowed you're to marry his daughter. You're equating gay and lesbian relationships to incest. No, but I'm just saying there are, there are many types of situations where people are not allowed to marry, and homosexuality is just another one of them. At one point, we were talking about this: the, the idea of civil rights being up for a vote, and my concern is is that. You know, yes, we are we are gaining civil rights at you know sort of a record pace compared to other other civil rights movement, movements, which are good. But if you leave the the issue of civil rights up to a popular vote, you know, in the past, uh, women's you know women's suffrage and the, the the black civil rights movement, I really don't think that they would have come along as quickly. You know, changing the hearts and minds of people takes time, but the rights that they deserve. The courts helped to do that, and that's why you're seeing gay marriage happened in Connecticut just a few weeks ago. No, but it was also just changes in society in general also. And right, and but most men did not believe women deserved the right to vote when they got the right to vote. A long time ago, yeah. And in 1967, 90% of the people polled around the nation didn't believe that blacks and whites should be able to get married, but the courts voted in favor of that because mm -hmm. under our law, we have the right to not have religious institutions dictate how our life is lived. Well, they don't, they don't dictate how your life is lived. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. Yeah, no, is in the First Amendment. The, the, the churches have the right to make their own rules, and the, you know, the majority right. of churches around the world have said no, homosexuality. And they don't have to. But, people get married. Right, but the laws that are attached to marriage mm -hmm. are civil rights laws. They are. I mean, if they weren't attached and it were simply a, a matter of, of religion, that would be a different point. But we're talking about federal rights, taxation rights, inheritance rights. We're talking about civil rights that are attached to a, a religious institution. And you're making an argument that because of religion, we don't, we don't deserve to have those same rights. I wouldn't say deserve, but I'm, I'm saying, you know, for the religions, you know, if you're going to have a, a religious marriage, you have to follow their guidelines. And the fact is, like, you know, you're saying something about Reform Judaism, but my friend who's Orthodox, he says, no, they're, they're not even Jewish. It's, you know, like, Orthodox Jewish people would never allow a gay marriage in, in, a, in an Orthodox temple. No, they it would wouldn't, never, but ever, ever Reconstructionists, Reform, and Conservative Judaism do allow for gay marriage. And most Jews are not Orthodox. Most of them are not Orthodox. They're actually a very small contingent of Judaism. So, you know, all I'm saying is, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. So if we respect the establishment of Christianity and we keep gays from getting married, we're, we're actually going against the First Amendment because civil rights are attached to the idea of marriage. Well, you, may be, you may be going against it by you know, enforcing gay marriage because you're dictating to a we're church. Not I'm not forcing you to marry a man, Phil. No. <laughs> I'm not forcing you to marry a man. No, but you're... The you know, gay community is trying to force everyone else to accept the concept of I you don't have to and you don't have to accept it. Just the courts no, do. Exactly. No. The I courts, know. The courts have you know shown reluctance. Well, yeah, you know, there's been like some really activist people involved in this. You know, the, the mayor up in San Francisco, he just you know just started marrying gay people. Out, you know, just just outright. And, uh, you know, I don't know where that comes from, but uh, you know, he believes that we deserve equal civil rights. I, I, I don't I don't see it as a, a civil rights issue. Well, that's where we disagree. And like I said, it's you know it has to do with religion. There's always been people who have never been allowed to be married. It's it's just a, you know that's just the situation. That's the way it is. Well, but you don't cling to something just because that's always how it's been. It's always how it's been up until a couple hundred years ago that we kept black people as slaves. 
but we change. Things evolve. But so when you're the mayor of Los Angeles. If I get to be the mayor. We'll see about that. When Phil is the mayor of Los Angeles. <laughs> um, okay, Phil is actually going to be running for the mayor of Los Angeles. He's filing his papers next week, right? Yeah. Okay. Phil Jenner-John for mayor of Los Angeles. So what makes you think, Phil Jenner-John, that you are going to get elected in Los Angeles? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> now, I'm taking a stand as a conservative. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to come out in my campaign. I'm going to say I have conservative values. This is what I believe. You know, you might not like it. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm going to say it. You know, I don't approve of homosexuality. I'm, you know, not going to uh, enact any, you know, special programs for, you know, the gay community. You know, you know that, that's it. You know, I'm, yeah, sure. Some people are not going to like that. You know, it's who I am. It's, you know, it's a, it's an approach. You know, it's a, it's a philosophy, conservatism. That, you know, can you get elected in this city, which, you know. West Hollywood is a part of. Do you really think you no, can West get? West Hollywood is not part of the life, separate city. Well, no, but I'm saying West Hollywood being a gay saying, mecca. Yeah, there are, there's a lot of gay lot people of gay who live people, in Los yeah. Angeles. Do you That's really right. think you can get elected es espousing the beliefs that you that you have? I'm probably not going to get those votes, but they weren't going to vote for me anyway. I'm a conservative, you know. I mean, right. when, I, when I openly say, you know, I'm voting yes on eight, automatically the gay community is going to go, oh my god, yeah, forget but it. But do you we think it's just the gay now. community? Don't you think there's a lot of people who, uh, you know? A lot of straight people who think that that's flawed thinking. And some, sure. But it depends on your personal philosophies. Conservatives are all about not, not interfering in people's personal lives. Like, like, as a conservative, I say, you know, you want to be gay? Well, fine, be gay. I'm not going to interfere. You know, this, but this whole thing about gay marriage is where you're kind of, the gay community is kind of encroaching into, you know, the. You've never explained community. how we're encroaching in your life, though, because Phil. You're redefining the concept of marriage. You're forcing how, a whole new uh, how does whole that affect experience you? of marriage. Because, like I said, there's so many. You're opening a Pandora's box of all the different types of things that can come out. Like, okay, if you have gay marriage, then suddenly you have to have gay divorce. Gay divorce. And then if you, then if you have gay marriage, you have to have you know gay you divorce. You people get divorced at sixty percent. What are you talking about? And, and then you have to, you're allowed to do it, but then, we, then you're going to have gay gay remarriage, and uh, this is my gay stepdad, and this it, you know no, just conservatives but say no. But straight people no. get to have all that. I mean, that's the way the world's always been. Straight people kind of get everything, really. <laughs> well, it's not like that in all countries, though. There's gay marriage all over the place. A few places. And it hasn't. The and Spain. Then there's not. There's not been this crazy. The sky hasn't fallen. <laughs> you know, the society hasn't crumbled. So Just far, gay people it's, get fairly, it's fairly new. So we'll, far, we'll see how it goes. We'll see you how know it goes. that in Denmark, 95% um, of the clergy came out in support of gay marriage ten years after it happened, and they said they are glad that gay marriage got passed because it's a stabilizing force in our I'm, world. I disagree. I Someone well, you can disagree, but that's what they said. Someone a cloth that goes against the tenets of their religion to agree to gay marriage. They're saying that it's a stabilizing force in their country to gay marriage. You're arguing that marriage is the sacred institution and it does all these good things. Well, we want a part of that. And, you know, in that country, people of religious institutions have all agreed that it's been a good thing. You know, like I said, because the religions themselves say that you cannot be married, you know, it's, it's up to the religions. Right. And they say no. Well, they don't say no, Phil. No, they do say no. Catholic Church says no. Well, Orthodox I'm not, Judaism says no. I'm not Catholic and I'm pretty not much Orthodox every, Jew. No, Islam says no. Pretty much every religion. I'm, I mean, not an, be, I'm not Muslim either. Well, I understand, but I'm just saying... Well, no, but, but see, your religion is now impugning on me. I'm not any of those things, and I'm not allowed to do it because you say so. That's not right. I don't think I'm going to vote for you. Well, that's fine. But, <laughs> I had a feeling um, that was coming. But... But you know, I wanted to give you a gift before I go. What's that? I wanted to s ask you to support John McCain in the election. <laughs> I have some nice yard signs for you. John McCain, McCain Palin, how about those, huh? All right, Phil, I might not nice, vote huh? for you, but you have a sense of humor, and I appreciate you I do have a, I do have a sense and of I humor. And I want to see, um, My other Phil made a sign that when Obama wins. If Obama when wins. When Obama wins. If, if. When he wins. Is if the American people come to their senses and vote the way they're supposed to. Then Obama will But win. in case Obama wins, I'm going to be at the Republican Party in Beverly Hills, and I'm going to have a very sad look on my face. I'm going to be very distraught. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be holding up this sign, <laughs> and the news stations are going to get a picture of this and say, oh, yeah, we like that. Congrats <laughs> to all liberals, socialists, and communists. 
Big victory for you tonight. All right. But hopefully, John McCain will win, and, and I'll be at the convention. I'll be destroying the sign and smashing right. it to pieces and holding up my sign that says, We love you, Sarah. And Thank you, Phil. I right. appreciate you Thanks coming for having you over. and listening, and good luck with your campaign. All right. And uh, one of us will be cheering on this day. This, this is going up on, on Election Day. Yeah, one of us will be happy, and one of us will be sad. All right. Guaranteed. All right. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> All right. And cut. And cut.